What's going on guys? So I am out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we are gonna take a look at this really, really interesting pre-owned travel trailer. This is called the Mini Max from Little Guy Trailers. This thing is super, super cool. It's definitely what I would consider to be a taller profile teardrop style trailer with kind of an off-road aggressiveness to it. But there's a lot of things to like about this unit that are different than what you might expect. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Again, this is a pre-owned model. Stepping around, we'll take a look at the numbers on this really, really compact little travel trailer. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 2,900 pounds. This has a cargo capacity of 866 pounds, and it rides on a single 2,900 pound rated axle. So. This thing is definitely compact and you could easily tow this behind most compact pickup trucks, most smaller SUVs such as a Dodge Durango, Jeep Grand Cherokee. Very lightweight, even though it's a little bit taller than some people might expect for a teardrop unit. It is very cool, has a lot of really great features such as these really awesome outside kind of plexiglass style windows. These are very European. You see these mainly on coaches in Europe but you're starting to see them more and more on some of these more boutique brand travel trailers. You see it has a really cool curved window up front as well. You can also see it has all your sewer connections right here. It also has a very interesting style of stabilization jack system. It does not have an electric jack up front. Probably doesn't need it. You could likely pick this thing up and kind of push it around has a good size storage up here as well, which is really nice, plus a place to keep your sewer hose. Coming around, has Westlake, kind of their off-road aggressive looking ST tire. And this runs a torsion style suspension system, which is also really nice. Has a 30 amp connection here, plus your cable connections right here and its own little cap, which is interesting. Right here you have your water heater and you have an outside shower all LED lighting. You have some LED strip lightings across the back. Large window that extends kind of across the back radius here. Plus it has a Dometic air conditioning system on it. And this one has a solar panel that's already been mounted to the roof. Coming around this way, you have some storage right here. Nice slam latch on it side of your furnace and then you have some outside speakers an outside power connection a mount for a tv and then your cable and satellite connections plus an hdmi connection right there again these really cool lexan style windows that are becoming more and more popular on boutique brands you have one here on the door as well they extend out almost like frameless windows very durable though nice aluminum entry step here really cool grab handle check that out Let's step inside of this Mini Max. This is very, very cool. Great craftsmanship. You see a lot of these units with really nice plywood construction inside that's been cut and mitered very, very well. Nice two burner cooktop here. You're gonna have a single basin stainless steel sink. You have a drawer here and maybe a little flip out thing right here. You have some storage underneath. And here is your wet bath. Good size wet bath, actually. It's not terribly small. You have plenty of room to take a shower right here, and then you have your toilet assembly right there. Great way to give you additional flexibility with a coach that's this small. And this lightweight, 2,900 pounds. A lot of vehicles can haul something this small. Here is your living room slash bed. This all converts into one large bed. Looks to be roughly a king size bed if all of this laid flat simply because it's roughly a square shape. And then your dinette, the dinette would fold down and everything would kind of fold on top of it to turn into your bed. Check out this really cool nor cooled fridge. Relatively compact, it is definitely gas electric. It's only about maybe 13, 14 inches wide. Plus you have your freezer drawer beneath it. Then you have more storage under there. Plus you have some storage right here as well and your Dometic air conditioning system above. Here's your breaker panels, your entertainment system right here, 
and you got more storage right here plus your system monitors and to turn things on and off that is going to be that window you saw that real real long tall window and then again this is that european style window system that's becoming more and more popular it's like a plexiglass very cool lots of innovative storage have a tv that's already mounted in here plus you have a solar charge controller that's in here as well this is really cool i mean this is easily something that if you have again a mid-size suv something relatively compact you could easily tow i mean you could tow this with just about any vehicle that has a tow capacity i'd say over 3,000, 4,000 pounds. The thing is you're gonna wanna be careful how you load it up. The last thing you're gonna wanna do is to put a ton of supplies back here, load bicycles and everything back here because your axles are right about here. And anything back here can really cause this to sway if you don't know that that weight behind the axles can remove weight from the front. So when it comes to loading this thing up with the stuff you might take with you, you're gonna wanna try to load it closer to the front of the vehicle and you're gonna wanna avoid loading it too heavy. That's probably the main thing that causes people to get into accidents with units that are small like this is they load it improperly. I mean, it has a very functional kitchen has a nice little seating area here, has plenty of seating space inside. It converts into a bed. If you are, you know, a mountain biker, if you like to go out there, if you like to go out to the desert and you just need a place to sleep that has tons of visibility, that's a big one, right? You wanna know that you're safe and secure. You open up all these windows, you have 360 degrees worth of visibility, which is really nice. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of this really cool compact teardrop style travel trailer from a brand I'd never heard of before. Looks to be built very well, too. Have to definitely say I'm pretty impressed considering this is also a pre-owned unit. Anyways, guys, I do not know the price because they just got this in and they haven't marked it yet. So I'm sure they'll have it listed on their website. Just check out Ron Hoover's website in Corpus Christi, Texas, and you should be able to see what they're asking for it. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.